Hey, DK leaders, welcome to week two of Make Waves. I'm excited that you're here. Let's go ahead and get started on this week's content. I know it's going to be great. Kindergarten and first grade leaders, you guys are going to play a game where you're going to go ahead and have the students write down a way that they can show God's goodness to others. And then after that, you're going to go ahead and take those responses to the other side of the room with some glow sticks and hide them under a bowl. And essentially, you're going to play a relay race game where the students have to run across the room, pick up a bowl, and make sure that there's a glow stick underneath, and then leave that glow stick exposed, run back to the group, and tag in the next person to keep doing that. And the goal is to reveal all the glow sticks to let their light shine the brightest, just like our goodness should shine to others. It should be a really simple activity to help the kids understand what goodness is and that we should let our light shine, but it should also be really good. I can't wait to see how they grasp it. It's going to be great. Second and third graders, you guys are going to have a really fun game that you're going to play this week where you're going to have the students go ahead and position their feet against a wall. And then you're going to give them a dodgeball and have them slowly but surely move that dodgeball down the wall by lowering a foot and raising a foot and slowly getting that ball to the end. And essentially, you're going to be talking about the verse at the same time as you do that and really just helping them to say one word of the verse each time they move it to the next student. Should be a really crazy activity and we'll see how it goes. I'm excited to see if the students can do it or not, but should also be a great way to go ahead and review the verse. I can't wait to see what the students think of it. Last but not least, fourth and fifth graders, you guys are going to be doing an activity where you're going to be giving the students a word like sunshine and then asking them to write a definition of goodness using that word within the definition. So for instance, they might say that I can see the goodness of God through the sunshine. It should be a really fun activity that should also help the students kind of see how do they define goodness and how it's all around us. I can't wait to see what they think of it and to see how it goes. Well, leaders, that is it for this weekend. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you for your diligence in doing this. I so appreciate your heart, the way that you serve so faithfully and with such excellence. You guys are an amazing team. I'm blessed to go ahead and work alongside such amazing people. I hope that you have a great week and I'll see you this weekend.